All right, uh, welcome back. It's still the breakfast on Plus TV Africa. We have our first major conversation, and of course, our guest sitting at uh, Poise to do justice to this topic, uh, Lagos International Trade Fair. Have you ever heard of the Lagos International Trade Fair? It's said to be one of the largest international trade fair or uh, trade fairs in Nigeria, um, and by extension, West Africa. The fair brings into focus the uh, potentials and business opportunities existing in Nigeria and the rest of the world. And it's usually a fun fair, a very interesting event that holds in Lagos State every year. I won't do the talking because we have someone here to tell us exactly what we need to know about the Lagos International Trade Fair. Um, we have Mrs. Olaju Moke Fashano, who is uh, FCA, who is a treasurer and board member of the Lagos uh, Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Um, Mrs. Fashano, good morning and thanks for your time. Good morning. Thank you for having All right. me. All right. So is this, that description correct, that the Lagos International Trade Fair is uh, one of the biggest in, in, in the country and even in West Africa? How big? It's actually is, is... one of the biggest in Africa. Amazing. And it, this is the 36th edition. Okay. So it's something that all over the world... African countries look forward to it, even all over the world, India, everywhere, all the continents, at least all, each of these continents have representatives coming. Interesting. All right, so, so can you uh, quickly bring us to speed with what's been going on, you know, with the uh, chamber? Okay, now, the Lagos International Trade Fair. For this year, connecting businesses, creating values. So we encourage everybody doing business, every individual, and one of the highlights for me every year for this trade fair is the job created. Averagely, 800 to 1,000 jobs are created. Now, a lot of business opportunities are also available. So each year we keep inching up, and that's why even by the time we're closing for this, it starts on the 4th of November and closes on the uh, 13th of November. So it's just a 10-day, very impactful event that globally people look forward to it. So by the time we're rounding off, there are some countries that already would have paid for next year's um, preparation. Averagely, we have 500,000 visitors and 3,000 to 4,000 exhibitors. So it's really huge. All right. So we have um, two sites, uh, two uh, parties involved, the uh, exhibitors and the visitors. Yes. Now, what is the purpose of the Lagos International Trade Fair? Okay, to provide opportunity and a leverage for business owners. And the, the boost it does is that even every state in Nigeria always send in the representatives. Most states take spaces for their small business owners. The rate at which every, all over the world the economy is going, the key to success and to move from the state we are in globally is to empower small business owners. So small business owners have opportune to come. So even those seeking for jobs, they come around and it also exhibit the best of what Nigeria has. There's an African hub. The African hub means every country in Africa have what is it new from their country that they're focusing and presenting to the world. Mm, okay. So, I mean, it, it promises to be, you know, a different kind of gathering uh, you know, in November? The, this year is going to be like never before why we have what we call the tech hub. So MTN is going to be there. All the tech gurus are going to be there. The new startups are going to be there. So we are calling for every business owner. You want your business to get better, then you can't sit alone. You can't stand alone. You can't stand aloof. You need to come. Most times people think that trade fair is just to buy and sell. No, it goes beyond that. It gives you an idea. You're able to work to see what your competitors are doing. People actually create new collaborations at this trade fair. Interesting. Mm. So you, you've talked about, uh, okay, Messi, you want to ask me? Yes, just a, just a quick one uh, before you come in. It's about, you've talked about connecting businesses creating and, values. Uh, and creating values yes. and job opportunities. Yes. But if you look at, you know, our current reality, it's been very bleak, uh, you know, inflation, the ease of doing business, the taxes, it's like every other time. What's, you know, the chamber doing? Okay. Now, one thing is the chamber is strong on advocacy, meaning that what you as a business owner cannot say to government, the chamber is an opportunity. So member companies, we see a lot of leverage. So the government is able to hear you, and the government is very responsive. I know we're not used to 
you to blame our trumpets in Nigeria. We like to see just the problems, but the government is listening. And for each problem, there is always a solution. The trade fair is an opportunity. The opening event is going to, we're expecting the president and the closing ceremony is going to... No, 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 no. My, my question, I understand that this okay. is part of the procedure, yes. but I'm asking that yes. as, you know, uh, you know, a buddy, yes. right? What exactly have you done in terms of, you said that it probably might be difficult, you know, for the government to listen to individual businesses. Yes. So I'm saying that you have the ears of the government. How much have you, you know, approached the government? What have you done to ensure that those who are in business, you know, little businesses, small businesses, you want to say, uh, have the ears of the government and government is listening, you know, to the cries of this person. Okay, we have a lot of success stories. At the Lagos Chambers of Commerce and Industry, that's the premier chamber in Nigeria, we have sectorial groups. So depending on what kind of business you do, you join a sectorial group. Now from that sectorial group, you bring out your pain points. And we have the heads of the government that most policies, before you read about it in the papers, the government, because we even have a council, and so there are government agencies that send in representatives on that council. So you make, well, we, that's how come you say the point that the, the president mentions the press media. So we engage the government. And most times, for most policies, we get it at the chambers for consideration. It doesn't mean they're going to listen to everything we say or to comply with whatever we say. But each member company then has an edge because you're able to adjust yourself because you know exactly what policy to look at. All right. Um you talked about um, you know introducing a, a tech hub yes. as part of this. Probably sounds like something which is a bit different yes. from the norm. Um, so looking at the exhibitors, what range of businesses and exhibitors should the public expect? Wow! Now, the trade fair presents a connect between the very big companies, the small, and even the aspiring companies. So what we have, take for instance, we have the MTN, we have the Dangote. Part of our sponsors, list sponsors, are, is the UBA. So from banking, it cross across all sectors. So what that does, it's different when you're knocking on the door of, say, Dangote in their offices, where you're knocking on the door of MTN. You come to the trade fair, you're going to meet them. It's a leveler. So it's a, it's a, there's a lot of protocol that is already broken. So if you and a, an exhibitor in the tech hub, the very big tech companies are going to be there. The major ones are going to be there. The small ones are going to be there. And all of you have your stand. So that's a leveler. You understand? So it just breaks about the protocol that you normally have when you're trying to meet people that are bigger than you. And don't forget that in the economy, we're all very useful to ourselves. You won't know the importance of, let's say, your driver until the guy disappears and you have to drive yourself, then you know that everybody is actually very valuable. So the economy needs both the giants, the small, the medium, and the upcoming. So it's a level. All right, so um, let's talk about this now. How can one be part of it? How can those who are uh, business uh, persons or those who run businesses, you know, key into we, this particular Yes, event? we have a very a website you go on the website, and even the booking now is very smart. All over the world, we have foreign countries that have already booked their spaces, and so you pay online. So it's very smart. You just go to it's Lagos International Trade Fair, and they're trending hashtags, just hashtag Lagos International Trade Fair 2022. And those are very, on all social media platforms, we're there. So you actually can indicate your interest and quickly book spaces because spaces are almost gone. So what's the fee like? It depends. There are minimum spaces. It depends. There's the, the, the tents. There's the, the various. So it's a place where everybody would be able to fit into it. So, so just give us an idea of, you know, the minimum. Uh, the minimum may be, plus everything may be about 400,000. Yes. And so what some sectors do is, as you mean, the, the print media can take a whole stand, can take one stand, and every interested organization you're there. You know, so there's a seamless flow. Take, for instance, Lagos State normally pays for stands for indigenous artisans, whatever. So there's always a place. If you send in your inquiries, you'll be able to fit in. So that way, nobody feels left out because don't forget, we know that everybody is important 
in the fabric for an economy. You know, um, whilst uh, growing up, um, you know, Mercy, you and I, I think, have spent <laughs> some time in, in, a, in a city, a particular city of mutual concern. There's, um, there used to be a trade fair, you know, period. I think it was, uh, they used to have it at the Leventis building then. And we used to go there and we'd see all sorts of things. It was like a jamboree, really, like um, a carnival of sorts, you know, where, um, where we'd see all sorts of things and the children would have a fun time. I remember the first time I, I saw um, uh, this, uh, this motorcycle, yes. this foreign one, foreign ones. not uh, the one that we used to use in the city I grew up in, Yokata, no, this foreign one, with somebody doing all sorts of uh, stunts. Yeah, the, you know, um, this is a power bike. Yes. You know, it was at a trade fair. It was a trade fair. So is this Lagos trade fair going to be family friendly? This you know? one is even very unique because we have dedicated space for children. So when you're coming, you don't have to worry about where would you keep your children. Actually, the focus for this year is that we're making Father Christmas come early. Father Christmas oh, is coming wow, early. Wow. They're going to have the biggest one. It's going to be very, very secure. The CCTV camera, so you don't have anything to be afraid of. And moreover, this year, the gate fee is just 300 naira, highly subsidized. And one reason why everybody should go to... Oh, the, oh, oh, oh. Why don't you make it free? Okay. Two things. One, you know, a lot of people, when you make something free, it's not of no value. Then you have people who really are just aimless. But when you have to part with that token of truth, then you, you're intentional. So it's not just that you don't have any reason to. Don't forget that the business owners that are taking the space, they're hoping that even they will be able to meet other businesses. And one very important part of it is it's, it's a connect. There is no year I'm at the trade fair. I don't encounter people I have lost contact with for more than 10 to 15 years. So it's worth it. Interesting. So let, let, let's have details, madam. Um, uh, where is it holding? Is it a legal street fair complex, for instance? Is it at a hotel or some uh, event oh. center? And give us the, the dates, the time. Again, yes, again. it's happening at the Tafa Baliwa Square. Okay, that's where we've been all the meetings. And the look, where's that? So, uh, Central Lagos, Lagos over yeah. here, yes, just TBS, 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 TBS yes, TBS Tafa Baliwa Square. And the ground, all the ground, and then we have the cricket pitch that is just across, so there's safe parking and it's always very seamless. The trade fair, Lagos International Fair, is starting on the 4th of November and closing on the 13th of November. It's from morning from 8 o'clock till 6 o'clock. And every day, people, because we even have the data, averagely 1,000 deals are closed. And th that's what's reported, 1,000 deals. You can imagine the volume of that deals that is closed. And it's always people that get new jobs, they don't lose their job. So the job creation is also very key. I also can see that you're pastoring pattern with LASMA to have a seamless flow of traffic. There, that there will be, there's always seamless flow of traffic and each year we get better by it. So it's always very, very seamless. So, so let's reiterate this. I hope uh, is it limited to a certain group of business owner or is open to every, everyone? It's, op it's open to everyone. And the more you think your business needs visibility, then you should be at the Lagos International Trade Fair. As I said, there are always strategies. The minimum space might be 10 square meters, and you know that all you want is just an opportunity for people to pick up your brokers, for people, to, there's a B2B opportunities, and there are special days. Companies take those special days for one or two hours. We ensure that a lot of advertisement goes on. So people you want to reach, you're able to use your special day to introduce your product, to meet new customers, and to also get feedback. Okay. All right. Um, so, but, but, uh, Kofi, just quickly, apart from that, I, I'd like to know if, I mean, you have mentioned the benefit and importance mm. of being part of the uh, Lagos International Trade Fair, and I'd like to know if there's an extra that comes with it, apart from the fact that if you're there, uh, there's going to be connectivity, networking. Was it an extra that comes from you? Uh, for this business owner? Yes, an most extra companies, most participants, co participating companies come prepared to give discounts. Okay, so but what do the, you do an, as an extra for them? 
no, but number one is one is the opportunity to showcase and to have their product secured. I mean, there's a hundred percent security, and because of all the security forces that are always present, there's noise, no noise pollution for most trade fairs at times that. Particularly in Africa, it tends to be very rowdy that you can't hold conversations. So we're always very particular about the noise level. So the extra that comes is the fact that you're there, the fact that you have your business visible, the fact that you also want not want a lot of people who companies who are not members of the Lagos Chambers of Commerce because they really don't understand the value. So you're able to ask further questions and to see the facilities. Well, before we started, you were just talking about getting emails from Lagos Chambers. There are lots of trainings that are highly subsidized. All right, interesting. Um, I'm, I'm going to take a detour here at this point um, because we have something around the corner, okay. which is the 2023 elections. Yes. And LCCI, you've been, you've been active. You had your um, 2022 edition of your private sector economic summit. Yes. Um, I'm sure you know that uh, uh, there was some discontent from other political or presidential candidates uh, questioning why LCCI invited only three of the presidential candidates. Um, sorry I'm taking you down. No, no, no. I mean, it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I've been council member. Why, sorry, why, I actually why, why did you invite only three? And uh, what, what is the LCCI's response to that, um, that uh, discontent from the other presidential candidates? Okay, one thing that stands out about the Lagos, uh, Lagos uh, Chambers of Commerce is that there's nothing political. Don't forget that whatever your political inclination is, you don't become relevant unless your business is doing well. So I heard and we read about that. Any party that has presidential candidates or want to, they can approach us. The people that approached started the conversation. We won't go after. It wasn't the intention to go after. No, come and talk. What we're saying is that you want to become the next president. This is a private, organized private sector. These are the people you need to talk to. Tell us what you have and we'll ask you questions. So for those who have not yet sent in the indication of their willingness of their candidates, they should quickly do so. The door is open. We are open for everybody. Are we still expecting the All Progressive Congress presidential candidate on October 28 by 9.30 a.m.? Hopefully, yes. Hopefully, all grants we're waiting and everybody, right. we, you know, this is not the time to stand aloof. This is not the time to say we don't, we're not concerned. Everybody is concerned about this. Okay, all right. Uh, before we go, can you just give us uh, again, uh, you know, uh, go over the details of the trade fair for those who want to, just for emphasis sake, get the details. From okay, the please, the hashtag, hashtag join me at the 2022 Lagos International Trade Fair, hashtag 2022 LITF. Hashtag Lagos International Trade Fair. It's starting on the 4th of November and closes on the 13th of November. The venue is the Tafa Balewa Square, Lagos. You don't know Tafa Balewa, please use your Google map. And this, it's going to be seamless. It's going to be secured. And one thing I guarantee everybody that comes with the intention to add value to your business, not only would you sell out, a lot of people... When they're coming, they come with lorry loads of goods. They get to sell their goods. People need to shop for December, for Christmas. So it's always a good opportunity to do that. And particularly, whatever business you do, if you are not an exhibitor, make sure you come in as a guest, as a okay. visitor. All right, all right, interesting. And for more information, you can go on the LCCI website. Yes, please, LCCI website, okay. Lagos uh, Chambers of Commerce oh, and Lagos. Industry website. Yes, and right. follow us on all the social media handles. Fantastic, fantastic. Uh, thank you so much uh, for giving us the information mm -hmm. and for um, having the patience to answer the other political question. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Mrs. Olajumoke Fashan OFCA is a treasurer and board member of the Lagos Chamber of Commerce and Industry. We'll be there as Buzz TV Africa at the Lagos International Trade Fair to monitor proceedings and then bring them to you as well. I'm sure that uh, we can get that, uh, that handle. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Anyway. Um, we'll be back with more conversations right here. We'll talk sports with Mighty George. Stay with us.